Hi, my name is Keith Campbell. I'm a professor of psychology at the University of Georgia. I've spent the last 25 years or so uh, studying narcissism, which is the idea of having an inflated or enhanced or over-the-top view of oneself. Uh, and what I want to do in this, in this course is explain narcissism to you, what narcissism is and how it affects your life. This is a trickier topic than you may think. Many people use the word narcissism now, but they use it in all sorts of ways. Some people use narcissism just to mean jerk. Some people use narcissism to mean arrogant. Some people use narcissism just to sound smart because there's a lot of S's in it, but they don't really know anything. So I'm gonna do a few things in this course. First, I'm gonna tell you what narcissism is, and I'm gonna talk about the different forms of narcissism. This is key. There's narcissism as a personality trait, something I have, you have, we all have. And then there's narcissism as a clinical or psychiatric disorder, which is pretty rare. Maybe two or 3% of people have it. On top of that, there's a couple different forms or faces of narcissism I wanna talk about. I'm gonna talk about the more grandiose, uh, in the face form that you see with politicians and celebrities and you know actors and bad relationships. But I'm also gonna talk about the more vulnerable, defensive, brittle form of narcissism that might be more familiar in therapeutic contexts or in clinical contexts. Then I'm gonna talk about some of these social aspects of narcissism. One really important area for narcissism, narcissism to function is the world of relationships. Narcissism is a real mixed bag for relationships, as you might guess. It's, it can be really good for starting relationships, but if you're in a relationship with somebody who cares more about himself or more about herself than you, it can be a real problem. So focusing on some of those dynamics is important. Another area where narcissism is really important is the world of work. So in the workplace, where you see narcissism is rising to leadership positions. Lots of people talk about their narcissistic bosses or narcissistic CEOs or narcissistic leaders. Um, but narcissism can have some benefits at work too. Places like sales or some more competitive parts of the business world where narcissism can kind of be something you want to have or have a little bit of. And then I want to go to the world of social media the world of the online world where narcissism really thrives. Uh, social media sites like Instagram or Facebook or Twitter are really attractive to narcissistic individuals. And as you'll see, people who are narcissistic have more followers, more friends, uh, benefit from these sites more than others in a lot of ways. And the final objective here is how to change narcissism, really shift narcissism both in ourselves and in other people. Now there's no, there's no cure for narcissism, you can't magically change, but there are some techniques and strategies where you can identify the specific areas in your life where narcissism is having an impact and use strategies to modify that or mitigate those impacts, make your life a little better. So I'm gonna to try to hit some of those. So what are the takeaways from this course? What are you gonna be able to bring home after spending a few weeks learning about narcissism? Well, first and foremost, you are gonna know what narcissism actually is, and most of your friends and colleagues aren't. So that's gonna be a big benefit. The second benefit I hope you get from this class is how to spot narcissism. We're gonna talk about how to see narcissism in, in social media. We're gonna see how to see narcissism from people's appearance, how to see narcissism when you're meeting people. There's no magic narcissism detector, but you're gonna be better at it after the course than you were before the course. Third, you're gonna understand how narcissism works. What motivates people who are narcissistic to do the things they do? If you understand the motivation that underlies narcissism, it gives you a chance to work with it, either to reward it, to change it, to turn it on, to turn it off, so that's really important. And finally, I really wanna talk about changing personality. This is something that's really exciting to me as a personality psychologist in the last 10, 15 years. What we've learned as a field is that personality can change. It's not set in plaster, cast in stone like we used to think. So I think when you finish this course, you'll have an idea that whatever personality you have, you'll have some ability to shift that in a way that will make your life better, way you want. 
In terms of preparing for this course, there's a few things we have in mind. We have a, a narcissism test you can take just to give an idea of where your own narcissism score falls. This is a, a classic test, the Narcissistic Personality Inventory. Uh, it's about it's out there all over the place. Uh, we're going to have a journal for you to do some reflections. Uh, when you're dealing with the ego, when you're dealing with the self and personality processes, I think it's really important to reflect, kind of look at what's motivating you and what's driving your behavior, what's driving your boss's behavior, your girlfriend, or boyfriend behavior, etc. So I think the reflection's really good for that. And also we're going to do some surveys because it's really good to have a good marker of what you know when you start something and what you know at the end of the course. And again, my hope is you come out of here with some really useful knowledge and helps make your life a little bit better. I'm really excited to be doing this course and look forward to be meeting with you over the next few weeks.